Hey crafty peeps. I wanted to give you a little life update because obviously I've been MIA. Um, if you've been watching any of my videos over the last six months or so, I mentioned how I was moving from the West Coast to the East Coast. And I would just like to say that has successfully happened. Um, it was about a year and a half in the making and uh, it was quite, quite the journey. I am a uh, Recording this from my craft room, my new craft room. It is still all in boxes. I have not unpacked a single thing. Uh, my son came over yesterday and helped me move stuff around so that I can finally unpack it. But today marks two day or two weeks in, into this house, and um, I've been so busy just building furniture like crazy because uh, we sold most of our furniture um, on the way here. So I did want to just kind of tell you a little bit about the journey and uh kind of show you i want to just kind of show you my old house and the new house now we did buy this house uh through video so we did not see it in person until uh we got here <laughs> that was quite a thing i always said i would never do that but um it was kind of necessary so let me just uh, tell you about how I got here and, and that kind of a thing. So um, if you didn't know, um, back in January of 2022, uh, my uh, husband and I were um, going through a divorce and then he passed away. And so, um, he is the father of my youngest. Um, my other two children are adults now. Um, I had gotten remarried and had, um, my youngest who is now 10. And, uh, so after about six months, every time we were driving by like a new apartment complex or townhouses being built, she would say, we should live there. And I thought, that's I said, where, where would our dogs go? There's no yard. Or I go, we have a pool. Like, why, you know? And it took me a while. It took me probably a couple months of her saying that um, to realize she just didn't want to live in our house anymore. And I totally understood. Um, and I said, do you, you want to move, don't you? And she said, yes. And I've always, I've lived, I lived in my hometown my entire life. So I wanted to... Um, you know, I had kind of had an itch to, to leave as well. And I said, well, if we move, we have to move out of state because California is so expensive. I mean, I bought my house back in 2015 for a really good price, 3% mortgage. You know, I couldn't afford to, uh, rebuy anywhere in California. So I did a lot of research. Um, I landed, I kind of, I wanted a similar feel, feel to where um, I grew up. So weather-wise, I, I am not used to harsh winters, okay? We, we had very nice winters, <laughs> so where I'm from. But I was not opposed to winters, like having some snow, but I did not want like four or five months of snow, like I can't do that. So um, I landed on some research into the south of Virginia and it has four seasons which I was very excited about but nothing was um, too hot or too cold so that's what I was looking for so I landed here in the south west part of Virginia State and um, so that required me to so I came out here uh, let's see in last September my best friend and I came out here to check it out see if this really was like where I want to go and I loved it and it's so green and so clean that's why I just keep saying green and clean um, I think there is a lot of misconception about California um, there is like every climate <laughs> every kind of scenery in California it is a huge state um, you've got the lowest part, San Diego, LA, that's where like the really nice weather is, that southern part. You go up to like the Bay Area and then you're getting like onto the Bay and it's a little cooler. Um, and then you go up to, you know, Sacramento, the capital and above and that's where I was from. And it is ridiculously hot in the summer. Um, we broke a record in July of 119 degrees. 119 degrees that's crazy um so that was a little send-off for us 
and the other thing is is unless you live on the coast it is brown it is dry and brown um also right before we left a uh, fire broke out um that fire is still currently going and is at like over 400,000 acres and it was about 30 minutes from where I live so the state's always on fire it's so brown and gross um, it's dirty it's filled with homeless which is just sad and awful um, so none of those factors are here uh, so we came and visited in September. I said, let's go for it. And so then I started working on my home and preparing it for sale. And uh, so we worked on that hard at work. And then in May, um, my mom, because my, my mom lived with me there and she still lives with me here. Uh, my mom is losing her vision. And so um, I help. I help her out. I want to say I take care of her because she can take care of herself, but I do help her um, quite a bit because she can drive and she has trouble reading, things like that. So anyhow, my mom and my youngest, we came out here and we met um, with a realtor. And here's another little fun backstory. Um, my daughter made friends with a girl at school, a new girl. And it turns out this girl is from this area. Like what are the chances? So they had just moved from here and, and not because they didn't like it here, but there was, you know, there was a reason. So they um, gave us their realtor's information. So we used that realtor and love, love, love her. And so we came out and we house shopped and we put an offer on a house. The market here uh, is not, there wasn't a lot of inventory and so Houses would go on the market and within one or two days we get multiple offers. So we were offering more than asking and we still didn't get the house. So we offered on another house while we were here, just didn't get the house. So though I say, I mean, the whole time I prayed, um, you know, God's timing, just is give me peace if this is the right place all those things so I I felt really confident that everything would fall into place uh, as needed so it was a um, Sunday excuse me a Friday and I got an offer on my house and I was gonna counter because they offered a bit lower so I countered uh, Saturday this house came on the market I messaged my realtor I said our house is going to go under contract um, can you please go and look at this house so on Sunday morning um, she called we did a video chat and we toured this house it checked off you know all the boxes we needed the cool thing was is I had already looked at a house on this street and I remember going I love this street as we drove into it and looked at the house um, the house we looked at on the street gorgeous on the outside but 1970s on the inside literally had yellow wallpaper yellow walls like blue t like a blue bathtub with blue tiles and blue sink I mean it needed so much work that you know we didn't end up wanting that house but I already knew I liked the street so that was cool so I said okay let's do it let's offer so uh, we put an offer in Sunday afternoon my house in California went under contract on Monday. My offer was accepted on Monday for this house and by Tuesday it was under contract. So we had timed it perfectly. I had prayed and prayed and prayed about the timing because I have bought and sold a house before and it is so stressful timing a closing and a buying especially when you need the funds from your closing to pay for the you know closing of your new home so everything was on track going well um, the buyers of my home uh, they were like we're ready to go I was actually able to sign like five days early I was like this is great and then the day before my house was supposed to close the original closing date which was July 26 somehow the date of August 5th got written down somewhere and 
they were like, we cannot close until August 5th. Well, <clears throat> I had already planned out the cross country trip for my daughters scheduled Airbnbs all along the way. I had already bought our flights, my mom, my son, and I, uh, for July 31st. And we were supposed to move in on August 1st and close on August 1st. <laughs> so them saying we can't close on August 5th was pretty scary. Thank you to the sellers of my seller's home because they allowed them to move early which allowed us to move in here early before closing and that was very much a leap of faith for them on their part because they had no guarantees they don't know me they don't know my you know so yeah they let us move in actually on august 2nd and then we were able to close and so the house is mine the house is ours um, we, so far, we love it here. It has, I come from a town of 100,000 people. This town is 22,000 people, but it seems, feels the exact same size. It has every store that I'm used to, you know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, right? The three most, and Dollar Tree. Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, Walmart, Ross, TJ Maxx. Every store that I need, okay? so. Really, that's all I need in life. So it's a good fit so far. Uh, so many people were like, "You have you're coming from dry heat and it's humid and you know." And I was like, "Well, I have visited in September and May, which I realize is kind of at the end and beginning of summer. But so far, the humidity hasn't really bothered me. I mean, sure, I don't love it. I'm not like, oh, but the temperature is so much lower. Um, it's definitely not something." that bothers me in fact yesterday I went out and I didn't even notice it so it's not super humid here um, so uh, Sloan that's my youngest she started school on Tuesday she was in the fifth grade and uh, so far so good she's doing great um, she's already made a friend on our street and so it's it's great. Both of my adult children are with me as well. Uh, my daughter is still living with me and she just got a job yesterday, a full-time job. Um, she just finished her AA and she's taking some time off and so she got a full-time job. And then my son also moved with us but he got his own place and he got a full-time job too. So within two weeks, I'm so proud of them. They both already got their full-time jobs and Sloan's in school and my mom is a very social and she's 77 years old but she is very social she's already joined two bowling leagues that start next week um, and then we plan to eventually here get plugged into a church which I think will be really good for her as well hopefully she'll meet some friends through that so everything's going well so far um, we love it and so again I will um, I'm gonna show you my old house just so you can kind of see where I came from and then I'll show you my quick tour that I did um, literally the day I saw the house when I moved here I did kind of a, um, a walk through totally forgot to get the craft room and the um, my bedroom but um, you know I am going to share along the way um, how I make over the house it I have to paint every single wall in here except this one this one was already painted green and I'm leaving it <laughs> but every other wall in this house I am painting um, so it's gonna be really fun to make over this house and the outside is gorgeous like outside of this house is gorgeous um, I don't need to do anything there uh, one cool thing about this house is so I have two dogs and two cats and I have a, my two dogs the people so sorry I get I kind of get my brain gets jammer so this is a split level house so you you know you come in you have choice to go like up eight steps or down eight steps so the main part of the house is the up, up part so there's a deck and the people who lived here before um, fenced in an area to the side of the deck and made like this little opening with a ramp down and so when we let the dogs out on the deck they just go down and they have their own yard just their own fenced area which is the coolest thing ever and um, oh and then just to, to kind of um, go over that so 
you go upstairs and you've got an open concept of kitchen, dining room, living room. And then it's a bathroom, three bedrooms, the master bedroom with a little, with a bathroom as well. And then when you go downstairs, that's kind of my level. So there's a family room downstairs, a half bath, my bedroom, the laundry room, and the craft room. So it's just, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. And I can't wait to share um, how I go along the way. Um, so I will be filming and I have a very special, very special video coming out at the end of the month that I'm very excited about. That will be my first time crafting in quite a while. And I'm really excited about that. So here is, you know, the rest of the video, a little tour. And I just will see you on the next video where I am doing some crafting. And until next time, happy crafting. Oh, that's awesome. We can see the deer and stuff over here. You have a bunch of wildlife. Oh <laughs>